Hey guys, what's up? It's LiftyMan190 here coming at you with a review of, let's, well, basically the granddaddy of them all when it comes to Hobbymaster F4s, the one that started it all. HA1901, Steve Ritchie's F4D from uh, Vietnam. I am so excited to have this model, like, the one that started it all. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, I saw this on eBay for a really good price for what it is, and I had to have it. I just had to have it. <laughs> um, so yeah, the box for how old this model is, this, the box is in really good shape as you can see. Clearly someone, um, that actually like really cared for their model. really just absolutely, you know, impeccable condition. Um, and as you can see, I also brought out my other two SEA camo um, F4s uh, for the <laughs> decent, kind of cool background. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it because I'm, oh, I'm, am I excited? All right, so we got the black nose there for the radome. And then probably, probably my favorite part of this whole airplane is those kill marks. Just, we haven't had an, an ace uh, quite like Steve Ritchie, although I believe the sixth one um, belongs to uh, the guy in the back, the Wizzo, Chuck de Bellevue. Um, I believe he's the one with six. I'm pretty sure uh, Steve Ritchie only has five. Um, Either way, just seeing all those kill marks on that airplane is just so cool. Um, then you got your sidewinders and a couple bombs underneath there. External tank, star and bar, nav light, star and bar on the fuselage, the early J79 nozzles, and the tail was 6.7. Uh, 0463 is the tail number. Um, the one thing, just from being an older model, um, there are some details that are just not, I guess just not there. Um, the one thing I am noticing, the, um, whoops, the uh, rear, rear nav light there. Uh, let's see. So there's a rear nav light on the F4C. That's old F4C. And on um, Terrible Tyke, let's see, there's the green one over there. Um, but I mean, that's just, I think, that's really small and just the airplane and just getting better because this obviously is their first F4 that they ever made. really much isn't much of anything going on that's different on the other side here um, yeah um, and then I did notice when I was putting the weapons on that there is a green stripe that's not like either of these two colors um, on the pylons Although there, actually, I'm not sure what that is because I just noticed that there's brown. There's brown on this side, but it's like green over here. I do know um, that later, later on, like triple nickel, um, you know, because the triple nickel five fifty fifth, um, like they had a a tail flash on the top there that was very close to if not that color that says triple nickel um so i'm not sure if that was like an identifying like identification thing um i'm not sure uh I, very interesting you know little detail there um if anybody knows i uh, could like tell me that would be actually really cool because I'd, I'd love to know why 
like it's, I guess I can show you, you know, brown on one side and then you got the green on the other. Love to know if anyone knows. Um, I know for being, like I said, the granddaddy of them all, um, this might be, eh, it's not as short as I thought it was going to be. The last time I actually looked at the time, it was, uh, I was in like 3.30 something, so up to five minutes, so it's a good length, so I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, I'm just absolutely ecstatic to have an airplane like this one, and um, at least all my airplanes with kill markings, I just remember, just realized when I got and started opening this airplane up, is uh, all of my uh, kill marked airplanes are, um, like for mid kills, they're all F4s, because obviously I got, there's six stars there, Olds has a kill on his jet over there, the F4C, and then my F4G actually also has a mid kill uh, back in Vietnam when it was a uh, an F4E before it was converted, obviously. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, now I think I'm actually gonna uh, end it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.